understanding integers. That's our goal for today. Understanding integers, and this is uh, topic two of Envision, practice and problem solving. 2-1 now. Well, you made it to your second topic. There are, uh, I guess, seven more to go, including this one. Silver so integers. Integers are positive or negative whole numbers. Ruples, griffins, fly up to 37,000 feet. A sperm whale can swim to 3,000 feet below sea level. I'm just going to draw a quick picture of this, guys, so you can see this. So here's sea level. Here's uh, the, the bird, and that's 37,000 feet up. Okay, and here's sea level, and this is 3,000 feet down. 3,000 feet down right here, and here's the whale. The, okay, that is a, can you draw a whale better than that? I bet you can. There's the whale, looks like a fish. <laughs> or, I don't know what it looks like, guys. Uh, but anyway, what would sea level be? So this is negative 3,000. So sea level would actually be zero, okay? So that's important throughout this whole process to know what zero represents. So here we go. Um, the integer blank best represents sea level. So what represents sea level? Zero. So zero represents sea level. It is neither positive nor negative. It is neither positive nor negative. Very good. All right, so plot the point negative 14 on the number line. So look for zero. Like this right here, guys, that's nine. That's not negative 14. This is in between negative five and negative 10. So that's negative nine. This is positive 14, but here is negative 14. Should have just gone to the first one first. But remember, I'm here to teach you guys and not just, not just get the answers. Find negative 5 on the number line. Plot negative 5 on the number line. Do you guys see it? This is positive 5. That's negative 10. That's positive 10. And here, I can't tell if that negative 5 goes here or here, but I think they mean this one. See, this lesson is a breath of fresh air compared to some of the other ones. Plot negative 2 on the number line. Well, that's positive 2. Here's negative 2 after the 0. You thought zero was the smallest, right? But it goes smaller. What? Don't cancel on me, guys. Why does it do that? Write the integer value for the that point B represents. That point B represents. Then write its opposite. So point B represents, do you guys see? One, two, three. And then the opposite would be negative three. And I'll give you a nice little tip the distance from zero is called the absolute value. So here's the opposite here. And the absolute value of negative three is three. Oh, so you gotta get it right the first time. Point B is zero. The opposite of point B is zero. Well, isn't this a breath of fresh air? Point B is three. The opposite of three is negative three. Okay, flying right along here. The opposite of 12 is negative 12. The opposite of 15 is negative 15. Opposite of 39 is positive 39. I hope they do the opposite of the opposite. That would be good. The opposite of 35 is negative 35. You guys must be flying. You, you're, you're probably done now, aren't you? You don't even need this. 
Maybe you need this question. Uh, Monday at noon, the temperature was 13 degrees below zero. Thursday at noon, the temperature was 12 degrees above zero. Find the two integers. So negative 13 and 12. We're going to do an inequality. These are inequality symbols. This means greater than. That means less than. So negative 13 is not greater than. Negative 13 is less than positive 12. Yeah, that one should be it. It was colder on, ooh, I wonder, Monday. It was colder on Monday because it was below zero. Uh oh, we only got one chance on this, okay? In a bank account, a paid out expense is called a debit, and a debit is called a credit. And a, no, a deposit is called a credit. Would you use positive or negative integers to represent credits? So credits would be positive. So use positive to represent credit and positive integers to represent credits because they increase the size. I'm hoping. Yeah. And use negative integers to represent debits because it's the opposite. Yeah. All right. This was integers. Um, yeah, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Come back when it gets a little harder, and I'll do those for you. Bye.